What's up? What's up, y'all? How you doing? Listen, so I decided to come on today. Hold on. Should I get my stuff together? Oh, I can't undo that. Dang it. Shoot. Hmm. Let's go here. Hey, everyone. Hope all is well. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I'm just trying to um, make a few posts before I really just dive right into this conversation. Um, because I think we really need to talk about this and um, go from there. So we're going to do a little social media marketing. We're going to make our post. I think I'm in the right area. Yes. Okay. All right. I think I'm done. Am I done? Nope. Still got a few more. Hey, everybody. Hope all is well. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? When you come in, just say hello. Make sure you share the video and all of those things. Uh, we're just going to have a quick little conversation and we're gonna go from there okay <laughs> so um, put this there okay so let's talk about this um i'm almost done i have been working with some individuals and people and normalcy has come about several times and I just began to think about what will what will normalcy look like after this so I'm sitting here and I was watching uh, Michelle Obama I was watching her uh, series on Netflix and I just laugh because I said, you know, a lot of us are going through this. We make our mark on the world. There we go. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? We make our mark on the world. What's up? Hey, we make our mark on the world. And then, you know, people really don't understand how you got there. Is my sister Nay on here? I wasn't looking because I was sitting there trying to. Hey, Nay, what's up? Rashid! Hey, Teron, what's up? Larry, Joseph, Danny, Jennifer, Eric, Larry, Tremaine, how you doing? Cedric, hey, little brother. Lorana, hey, everybody. Hope all is well with you. Um, So, I thought about like the normacy. Anytime that you're trying to do something and move forward in life um, and you're trying to move forward in life, you're going to always have some opposition. You're going to always have it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to always have opposition. I remember when. <laughs> hey, Benny. Uh, Nashia, what's up? I remember. Uh, and this is going to sound really, 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 really far. Um, and don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> don't judge me. So I remember when, um, at a point in time in my life, I decided to come out. Okay. And I felt doing that would be liberating free, don't have to lie. I thought it was free, right? Oh my God. Like, I think I'm by far the first, <laughs> the first man in Kojic to even do something like that. And I was bold with it, right? I was bold and I was happy. I still preached. I still maintained my level of integrity all of this stuff, but I was not ready for the backlash. So all I did for years was fight, try to battle with people with scriptures and things like that. And I just wanted to be me. I just lost a few people because I said that, but I'm just being honest. 
So I had to change. I had to figure out what was good, figure out what was better. I had to figure out like how to make life work because that was not my normal. Fighting all the time was not my normal. So I had to get to a place where I had to figure out where I went wrong, right? Where I went wrong. So then let's just go here. When I look at how things have, when I look at how things have changed, I sit back and this is no lie. I sit back and I watch in the freedom that people have nowadays and how hard I had to walk through that freedom that some of you all are walking in right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> some of you all are very liberated and free. Uh, all y'all honey jobs. It took them licks for y'all. And y'all just like, woo, baby. I ain't honey. You took them licks for us. Yes, sir. I did. I did. I did. I, I took them licks and I'm still making it. Um, I can tell you this. The normalcy of life and church after this whole pandemic is not going to look the same. We have got a chance to sit at home for months. Um, your preaching is not going to be the same. Yeah, stay with me. I'm going to bless you. Your preaching is not going to be the same. The reason why it's not going to be the same is because we've gotten used to you getting on this camera. Hello, somebody. You popping on Facebook Live. And whereas your message would be beat up on the fags and the sissies and the punks and can on and all this other stuff like that. Baby, what you thought you was getting at your church. Now you talking to a screen. And you hoping. You hoping to get 20 people on. You hoping to get your numbers up. You hoping that as motivated and powerful that you are when you're at church, you're hoping to get the same response online. Mm -mm. See, when you at home, <laughs> when you're at home and you get a chance to see what the people, because let me tell you something. See, brother pastor, sister pastor, let me tell you something. See, Facebook, YouTube. See, people get to play somebody else. And see, if they don't like you, they have to, they have few options. Come on. Come on to somebody else and talk about you while you're on your live. Or just don't watch. See, this is the situation. This is the new norm. Whereas you spent two, three hours preaching your message. Now we've gotten used to you only spending 20, 30 minutes hitting it and getting off. So when we come back to church, oh, baby, because I'm going to come. Oh, yes, I'm going to come. We oh, yeah, are <laughs> Me and my good top. <laughs> King Jazz <Jive> say. <laughs> Baby, this is the new nor honey. Listen here. Baby, if you stand up there, if you stand there and you take your time and you do the absolute most. Baby, you're going to see people hit them fingers on you. you hey, ain't nobody got time. See, you, see when you when you at home, sitting in front of your, your phone, your computer and, and things, don't nobody, ain't nobody sitting out there, amen, pastor, yes. Go ahead. Woo, child. Woo, where my drawers at? Yes, pastor. Ain't nobody doing that. You, you're, you're ministering to the screen. 
And you're hoping, you're hoping that somebody feels a touch. You're hoping. So when things flip and turn, you just keep that same energy. You preach to the screen like you would on Sunday morning. Because now we've gotten accustomed to hit it and quit it. Now we've gotten accustomed to you without your antics. That's the new norm. We've gotten accustomed. Oh, yeah, we have. We've gotten accustomed. We've gotten accustomed to you not getting up here and doing your whole show. This is a generation of people that just want the word. Give me the word and go sit down. Right? Give me the word. And go sit down. Hey, babies. Hey, go sit down. We ain't got time. See, we ain't got time for you. Tell, tell your neighbor. <laughs> oh, my God. Tell your neighbor <laughs> that God <laughs> is coming on a whirlwind. <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell your neighbor. <laughs> God is moving asunder. Ah, take me high. I feel. I feel the anointing of God moving right now. Say yeah. Oh Lord. See, we ain't got time for all that. We, we ain't got time. You know, like seriously. At halftime, you know, we ain't got time. To hook up no hoop triggers and all this other stuff like that. Baby, just give me the Bible. Tell me what the Lord say. And hit finish. Tell me what the Lord say and hit finish. <laughs> and he said, I don't want to see none of y'all trying it again. I'm telling you. Listen, because we're online now. And I, I have tried my best to give certain people some instructions to how to do things because how you can captivate your audience, because we have a short attention span, how you're going to captivate your audience is getting in there, get your few little songs in, get your message. God bless you all. Let, let me give you a quick run through. Let me give you a quick run through. Somebody comes out to y'all. You know how we used to do at at at, at high praise, uh, Angie. Baby, we would come out. You know what I'm saying? We would come out and we would do morning glory. Father, we thank you right now. Come on, everybody, stand to your feet. I'm, uh, baby, this is a, this is this is. I was serving. I was one of the service coordinators. Come on, everybody, clap your hands and put your hands together and let's just give God some praise. We're getting ready to go into our morning glory. Come on, let's just usher in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And oh, God, and we just, baby, did David get to going with the organ? Baby, we just in. And next thing you know, we didn't hook a bucket. <laughs> Honey, we didn't caught it. We didn't got caught all up in the spirit. Then somebody got to come and they got to give an offering. Hey, sis, hey, Eunice, they got to give an offering and stuff. And, you know, they got to do the, 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 the reciting of the offering message and speech and all this type of stuff like that. And then, you know, here we go. The praise team got to come back up again. And they got to sing, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Oh, oh, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. And we just going from there. And then here I come. <laughs> here I come again, baby. I got to get the folks stirred up. Come on, didn't, come on, saints. The Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. You know, we just, you know, that's what we did. Um, and then after that, you know, somebody gets up and give the offering. And because I was supposed to do the transition from the from uh, the praise team. And I'm the one who does the announcements. And right after me, somebody's going to come up and do the offering. 
And then we're getting ready for the preach word. All right. So right after that, um, you get up, give your preach word and you sit down. Now, y'all see now if we do this online, we can chop these parts up and do quick, cute little fades. Hey, Nakisha, cute little fades and kind of go from there. Hey, cousin Maria, do little cute little fades. And so now everybody wants to still have that same church experience online. Well, baby, we're not going to sit on your live for three or four hours. No. We happily don't want to sit for no fume. Mm. And then the funerals nowadays, baby, you either got a chapel service or you either got a graveside. And baby, I saw one graveside service. Honey, it was for a national, it was for one of the church mothers here. Baby, we got in and out. I'm good, boo. We got in and out. Period. In and out. Come on, let's say a few little words and let's go and go. Honey, I'm ready to go go to um Ryan's Piccadilly somewhere. I'm ready to go eat. So, the norm, the normacy of everything from this point on. The normacy um, from this point on. People really don't have time. Like, for real, for real. I don't have time for you to cheerlead me up. Right? I don't have time for you to, to, to get me. To get me going. Hey, Miss Deborah, to get me, I need to be there. So let me let me help y'all laity out and peoples and things. And that's this. We've been at home. We've been at home all these months. February, March, April, February, March, April, now May, four months. Some of y'all are going back out trying to go to these churches and things. Y'all can have that because I ain't coming. I'm going to let y'all go first. And the first round bout of y'all, first batch of y'all, they end up dead. Okay, I'm, I'm going to know to stay my butt inside because they already got cases rolling in right now. There are people that are sitting at home. Hey, Miss Sylvia, people that are sitting at home. And you get a chance to really see what you really got on the inside of you. See, because that performance that you give at church. See, I'm not, this, this, is, this is a check and balance, not just for the pastors, but for the church, the, 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 the peoples too. That performance that you give on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Sabbath on Sunday. I mean, on Sabbath, on Saturday, and then your Sunday worship, Sunday worship. Um, that performance that you give at home, if you cannot give that same performance at home in the company of nobody but you and God, then what you do when you get to church is fake. What you do is fake. See, a lot of y'all making posts. Oh, I can't wait to get back to church. Oh, child, I'm going to be like this. Oh, ooh, 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 all this stuff like that. Let me tell you something. If my, if my worship is not real at home, if my worship is not real at home, then it's not real when I come to church because I'm caught up in emotionalism. I can't get no help. I'm caught up in emotionalism. I'm going I'm I'm to hope y'all. I'm going to hope y'all right now. I'm caught up in emotionalism. Now, I'm like Tootie. When she said, I don't want. Y'all don't hear me. I don't want no peanut butter and jelly. I want my soul to be fed. Y'all can have all of the, the charades. Y'all can have 
all of the foolishness and carrying on. But when I come to church, hear me, when I come to church, I want to feel like I've been to church. I want to feel, I want to feel like I've just been in the presence of God and I wasn't at a Beyonce concert. I ain't got nothing wrong to say about Beyonce, but there's a difference between performance. There's a difference between performance and the authentic presence. Well, I thought her name was Tootie. Okay, the truth is, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, thank you, uh, Angie. That's my sister. See, she always on me trying to make sure I'm right. Uh-huh. I don't want no peanut butter and jelly. I want my soul to be fed. Whoa, whoa. I want my soul, want my soul to be fed. So I'm trying to find my extension, y'all, for my uh, my hoop triggers. Ooh, dang it, that ain't gonna work. Shoot. So, the normacy, the normacy of of what we about to walk into, the normacy of it all is that you're going to have people that don't care. You're going to have people that don't care for your um, your Greek and Hebrew. You're going to have people that don't care about whether you took classes at Harvard or not. But do you have... Okay, I'm going to find it. Do you have a word from the Lord? Hello, do you have a word from the Lord? Like, I don't, I don't want to hear no, you know, I was practicing on my way in and all of this stuff. No, I want to, no, seriously, I want to be in the presence of God. I want God to fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench. This thirsty in my soul, bread from heaven, feed me till I want no more, fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. See, it's like, like, this, this is the opportunity now, this is the opportunity now. For you to make your relationship and your election sure. This is the opportunity. This is the opportunity for you to get so close to the Lord, whoever you serve. To get so close to the Lord that when you, when you do come back to church, ain't nobody got to say nothing. If somebody said, hallelujah, baby, everybody, hey, glory to God. Honey, if I say, bless your name, God, somebody going to say, he's a wonder in my soul. He come to Lolo Shaya. Yes, God, he's so amazing. Honey, it's, it's just, it's contagious. But see, that's going, that should be, that should be the direction that we go. Hey, Miko, that should be the direction that we're going because we've had enough time. We've had enough time to sit and think. We've had enough time to sit and let our minds wonder, God, baby, after all of the deaths, come on here, y'all don't, y'all don't play with me. Let me go and pull this two piece out. After all, <laughs> that, ha! That's it right there. After all of the deaths, Danny, after all of the deaths, honey, when I, 
Honey, just for the mere fact. Now, y'all, this thing about to wear me out in a minute. But after everybody that I post that have died in the church, out the church. Honey, when I wake up every day, it's God, I, hey, God, I thank you. Woo. Oh, bless your high name, God. Honey, just another day. Just another day. Honey, it might be sad, but millions ain't made it. But I'm one of the ones who did. Honey, for that alone, for that alone, for that alone, it makes me lift my hands up when I wake up in the morning and just say, God, I thank you. See, this is, this is putting you in a place where you need to be. Ah, this, <laughs> this is putting you in a place you need to be. See, because for so long, Maggie, for so long, we always say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, hold on, oh, shanda, la, 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 ha, ya. Woo, ha, ya, na, 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 ma, see, k, t. See, for so long, we're used to doing things out of formalities. But now, as the Bible say, now may Israel say, when, the, when, when, when Egypt came up against him on both sides, Honey, when, 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 you, when you wake up in the morning, see, this is the new normal here. Because death is coming. Death is here. And it ain't got no name. It ain't got no sign. Death, oh, am I in the right key or am I supposed to be a little high? That's it right there. Yes, that's it. See, death ain't got no name. Death ain't got no sickness. See, whatever this is, whatever this corona stuff is, see, baby, it ain't got no name on it. It ain't got no age on it. It ain't got no demographic on it. It's here. And if you get it, you're gone. Mm. See, but what I'm trying to explain to you, I feel my preacher man kicking in. What I'm trying to explain is that out of everything that we have walked through in two months, in two months, out of everything that we've walked through in two months, baby, when you wake up every day at your home, your home, baby, your home, Bruce, should be the presence of God. I, I know we don't live there every day. I know we don't live. Hey, Mama Jackie, I know we don't live in. Hey, I'm a mommy, be, 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 be. I know we don't live there all the time, but just. Give God his moments of just saying, thank you. You didn't have to do it, but you did. And thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. People, baby, dangerous, dangerous seen and unseen. Famine all across the land, sickness, viruses, disease, pestilence and plagues roaming the land. And you can't just tell. See, this this is gonna be the deal. This is gonna be the deal breaker. This is gonna be the deal breaker for your new norm. See, when folks come back to church and they still like, mm, they ain't gonna hit the music. Come on, you ain't gonna hit the note. You ain't gonna, you know. Uh, let me let me help y'all. You ain't gonna. Oh, there it is. You ain't gonna. Um, you ain't gonna. You gonna. You gonna See, when this ain't at your house and all you got is your hands and your feet, when you at your house and all you got is a, a, a thought and a memory, <clears throat> all you got is a thought and a memory. And when you at home by yourself, I'm about to go here now. When you at home by yourself and all you can think about is, man, God, you so good to me. Some of us, can, can, can we just be honest for a second? See, some of us ain't even got a stimulus check yet, but we're still surviving. See, out of all of this, hey, Michael, out of all of this. God is still making ways out of nowhere. And for that, God, 
How do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get a little piece of corn every day, but when I do get it, I, I'm, I'm saying thank you. But out of all of this, out of this whole pandemic, some of y'all ain't worked two months and you still got lights. Woo! Yes, God, you still got water. You still got electricity. You still got cable. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. If that's not a reason just to say thank you, honey, some of y'all didn't have to hook a crook to pay your bill. Some of y'all didn't have to write a bad bounce and check just to make sure the lights, gas, electricity, and things that stayed on, baby. It's on. It's on. And some of y'all don't even have the decency to just say, God, I thank you. God, I sure didn't even have the money to pay this. God, I mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. So that when I go back in the congregation of the saints, in the congregation of the saints, when I go back, I think I'm in B, y'all. That's it right there. When I go back into the congregation of the saints and I go back into the gathering of the saints of the Most High God, it should be a good hallelujah over there and a good thank you, Jesus, over there because we weathered this storm. How did, did there, there shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to motivate nobody to do anything because we all made it through something. Oh, yeah, this, this, this is going to be my new normal. Honey, there, there has never been in my lifetime where there was a fear that if I touch something, it could bring death upon me. I, I've never, I've, I've never, I've never had to experience. I, listen here, some of y'all is around about my age. So we in our 30s, right? We've never had to ex experience a pandemic that was taking people out left. We've never had to experience that. We've never had to experience it. I wasn't brown back there when they were shooting folks up with the with the pen, penicillin and carrying on. I wasn't back there in them ages and things and stuff. Mm -mm. But this generation, this generation has been allowed to see the terribleness of God. He does not care about your name. He does not care about your title. He don't care about your position. Oh, I'm bishop. Okay, well, we've got, we've had bishops to die too. Praise God. He don't care about you being the sanctit mother. We've had sanctit mothers to die. He don't care. We've been out here praying. Am I, am, I, am I making sense? We've been out here praying, God, make a way out of no way. And folks are still dying. Baby, we've been cutting up, speaking in tongues and shouting and dancing. And, Father God, right now, Lord, move, God. Touch our nation, Lord. Please, Jesus. Woo, please, God, uh, please touch right now. Uh, bind this death angel that's coming up on the land. Uh, bind this coronavirus right now. Uh, please, uh, oh, please, uh, oh, please. See, we've been doing all of this. We've been doing all of this. And yet and still, the death angel is still here. What is God trying to say? I'm going to take you to your new normal. I'm going to take you to your new normal. I'm going to take you to your new normal. And that is, you're going to cry for me. And I'm not going to answer. You're going to dance for me. And I'm not going to show up. You're going to hold up my body. You're going to do all of that. And I'm not going to show up. You know why? You know why? Because he said, 
if my people who say that they call by my name, if they would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. See, let me tell you something. If you, re if you read your Bible, and I'm almost done, church. If you read your Bible, God has a funny way of doing everything. God has a funny way of doing everything. God has used the hoes. God has used the harlots. God has used the homosexuals. God has used the lesbians. He's used donkeys. He's used asses. He's used doves, ravens, snakes, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my, he's used it all. So let me tell you, God can do what he wants to do when he wants to do it, how he wants to do it. Here's the kicker. You can be whatever you are and still be anointed, but there is a way to do everything. There is a way to do everything. There is a way to approach God. There is a way to enter into his presence. See, some of y'all, can, can I go here? Mm, can I go here? Y'all just say, go on, preach black man. Just say, go on here, brother, preach on. See, a lot, of, a lot of the gays are highly anointed and spiritual. And baby, they can, they can get you where you need to be and go home and live a, and this is the straights too, go home and live a ragged mess. And still come back in the pulpit and preach heaven down and go back to sucking dick and licking cooch. See, how long do we make a mockery out of out of what my what 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 uh, Pastor Betty say out of the mind of God? How long do we not take the book serious? How long do we come in church after we've got through laying up and we don't even take his presence serious? How long? How long? Hmm? How long? Y'all don't like this? How long? How long do we come to church and we just got through laying up? I, I'm, just, I'm just being honest, y'all. I ain't got none. I'm just, I'm just telling the truth. Chew, chew. I'm going to say something. <laughs> How long? How long do we sit here and we just got through having a baby, a full out orgy? Baby, it was 50 people there, baby. It was, it was me, them, them, them. And baby, we just had got through having old rendezvous. And baby, I get up the next day, put on my preacher collar, my garments and everything like that. And I get right on up there. And I don't even think about the fact that God Oh, I just, oh, I just did all that. Now I'm going to get up here and minister to the peoples. Whew. I didn't even give it a break. I just, just was in and now I'm, I'm up here. Come on, clap your hands. I mean, no, no. How, how long? How long? How long are we going to continue the charade? And then everybody else just happy because they emotional. Hello? How long? You got the musicians. You know what I'm saying? We we do. Listen, we're doing things. Listen, 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 Linda. Linda, listen. I, I'm, I'm going to say this to y'all today in your hearing. Okay? And, 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 and you can mark my words on this. God will shut all of this down. The most high, Yah, he will shut all. All of this down and there will be no more church. There will be no more pastors. Do you not know this is not as worse as it could get? Do you not realize that we serve as a awesome God as we serve? He is terrible. Yeah, I, I, baby, musicians, I said he is terrible. 
Yeah, he is. He's terrible. See, the thing is, just like God did Israel when they were in Egypt and the Egyptians was trying to kill and beat up on the Israels and things. And God sent word. See, this is why you have to have an ear to hear what the Lord is saying. And God sent word to Moses and said, take the blood of a lamb. He said, take the blood of a lamb and put it on the doorposts. Some people didn't listen and they lost their lives. See, but that's, that's, that's the thing. If you're going to make it in this new normal, you're going to have to listen. You're going to have to listen. You're going to have to listen. I don't care what you are. You're going to have to listen. I have spent three years sitting back watching individuals. Yes, I have. Watching, watching individuals drop dead and we got to make an excuse why they died. Oh, they had a cough. Oh, they had the cold. They had a pneumonia. In there. Baby, they died of AIDS and HIV. They did because they wanted to live raggedy. They wanted to still hoke and poke and carry on and still get up and mishandle the word of God, God's oracles, the pulpit, the mind of God, and still they go out and do the same. You don't mean what you preach. You don't live what you preach. I ain't, baby, I ain't, got, I ain't got time to sit out here and tell you, you know, all these gays and homeless. Listen here. I ain't God and I ain't the jury, okay? I ain't the judge, neither the jury. So your relationship with God ain't got nothing to do with me. I just want you to understand that there is a way to please God. There is a way to get his attention. And the Bible does say, and the Bible does say that he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. But he said, if my people, come on here now, if my people, if those folks who say that they mine are called by my name, I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to help you real quick. See, y'all, y'all want to go where the numbers are high, but I'm trying to help you. He said, if mine, who say that they mine, would hear me, am I still coaching? Absolutely, baby. Absolutely. Humble themselves. Because you've been taking risks too long. You've been taking risks too long. You've been playing too long. So now, now, uh, folks is dropping dead left and right. What, what you going to do? What, what you going to do? You're scared now, ain't you? Because you don't know how this virus is going to affect anybody. You got folks who are dying that ain't never been sick. Ain't never been sick. At the end of the day, this is your new norm. This is your new norm. Take your, take your life, take your life and live for real. Live for real. Make sure, preachers, preachers, <laughs> preachers, 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 I'm talking to you. Um, make sure that your witness is still winning souls. Make sure your witness is still winning souls. See, we don't get this no more. You know what I'm saying? We, don't, we God is going to move and make a way. God is going to do. No, 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 no. Recognize Recognize, I need my preacher towel. <laughs> Recognize who it is that you serve. He is concerned about you. 
You are the direct reflection of him. You are a direct reflection of the most high God. He said, I formed you and made you in my image. He put you on the potter's wheel. Y'all know that song? The potter wants to put you back together again. Oh, the potter wants to put you back together again you may be broken stop by do you know what the potter can do to you on the wheel if what I have formed if what I have formed just won't get right I have to destroy it and start all over again If I made something that was intended to be so beautiful and it turns out wrong, I have to destroy it and start all over again. This is your new normacy. This is your normacy. And that is recognize the God that you serve. Y'all been praying for miracles and miracles ain't came. Y'all been praying for God to move and make a way and he ain't did nothing. You know why? He said, why am I going to be a gracious, good God to a people that don't even appreciate me? Mm. Why am I going to be gracious to a land? And they don't even love me. They don't even love each other, let alone love me. You got black folks against white folks and everybody trying to go to heaven anyhow. You got black folks against white people and the Chinese against the black folks and the black folks against the Chinese and the, and the white folks out here beating up and killing on the black folks. Carol. And everybody thinking they're going to heaven anyhow. You don't think he sees? Hey, 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 white people, white people, I'm going to talk to you for a second. For all you racial, racial bigots and, and you hate niggers and stuff like that, let me tell you something. We all got to see the same God. Black people, hold on, hey, hey, I'm going to talk to you for a second. <laughs> you are, yes, you. Uh, some of y'all think y'all the elect of God and some of y'all think y'all the Israels and, and things and stuff like that. Uh, we all got to see the same God at some point or another. Oh, oh, yes. We all got to see the same God. We all got to hear him say something sooner or later. Oh, yes. Hey, Jante, we all tap your screen right there. Tap your screen. We all, we are Chinese peoples, Africans, Americans. We all got to see them. White people, while y'all think, you know, some of y'all think y'all superior and y'all been running this stuff for a long time and everything. We all got to see the same God some point in time or another. We all got to see him. The question is, are we going to see him in? Peace. Are we going to see him in peace? This is our new norm. See, when you walk around, hey, Brandon, when you walk around and you got this in the back of your head, it makes you think a little different. It makes you act a little different. It makes you appreciate your neighbor a little different. When you realize, y'all don't hear me. I, I'm serious. Like, y'all don't hear me. When you realize, that there is no black God, white God. There is a omnipresent God. Whatever color he is, there is a God that sits high and looks low and he see all our mess. And he created each and every last one of us. So when I and you and me and them and everybody else by themselves close their eyes for the very last time, 
we have to see God for ourselves. So every deed that you've done in your mortal body, you're going to have to talk to him. So, 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 so the white boy who got killed by the black peoples, the white boy who got killed by the black peoples, y'all thought y'all was doing the will of God? You thought God was pleased? You think God going to say, well, I see you, boy, go ahead. Oh, good job. You think he pleased? No, he's not. He's not. Everybody is going to have a day. Everybody is going to have a day with the master. Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. My heart is torn to pieces. Here's my offering. Honey. So this is our new normal. If we don't take our relationship, if we don't develop a relationship, if we don't take who we say that we serve serious, take your sign down. Take your sign down. Because just as gracious as God is to us and he is gracious, he is terrible. He cares nothing about letting you be destroyed. Oh, no, but God's a good God. Yep, he's a good God. Mm -hmm, sure is. Mm -hmm, yep, he's a good God. He's a good God. And baby, he will let you get hit by a bus so quick. He will let you get blowed up so quick. He will let you get die so quick. He's God. And every day, there is newness every morning. There's a time to be born and there's a time to die. There's a time to be merry and there's a time to be sad. But this is real. This is real. This is real. So our new normacy is taking our signs, taking our what is this? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Taking our signs serious. Taking our signs serious. Right? Taking our signs serious. You say you got the Lord on you? Show some sign. You say you got the spirit on the inside of you? Show some sign. Show some sign. Jojo, it's hot in here and it's working. It's working. <laughs> Hey, John. Hey, Miss Catherine. Mm -mm. Hey, uh, Alexa. What's up, baby? Do you not know that there is a world out here? Let me, let me, let me, let me just, let me, let me just, let me, let me come to you like this. In my journey, I've gotten a chance, and we're going to go back to my normal. In my journey of coming out, coming in, being still involved in the church, I've gotten a, I've gotten the opportunity. I've I've had the opportunity. I've had the opportunity of encountering all kinds of people: straight, gay, in between, bisexual, pansexual, intersexual, drag queens, uh, androgynous, straights, down low, on the up and up, undercover, all kinds of things. And everybody still says that they love God, but they're scared to be themselves in the presence of people who all got to answer the same God, right? Everybody got to answer the same God. But you're more worried about people than you are the God that you're supposed to be serving. Mm. Hey, Diva. You're more concerned about people that got to go and go the same way you got to go. Hmm. So our position now is focusing on him. There, so since, since being said that, Daiwa, people know me for my truth. 
People know me for my truth. I have nothing to hide. People tried to unearth things and drag me and all kind of stuff like that. But I live my truth, right? I have lived my truth unapologetically. And so there is a slew of people that that look at me because Jives has endured all of this and he still loved God. Mm. Jobs is still in the church and he's still out the Lord oh yep I do because my obligation and my love was never to people my obligation and my love was never to a pastor my obligation and my love was to God and then people. I serve God. And I also, because I serve him with the love that he's placed on the inside of me, I serve people. I serve the church. And so all of these people that follow behind me, that look to me and everything. I got to show them a way that's not like what they've seen before. Do you not know that there is some, there is some young man, young woman out here that really wants God. They really want God. Like I want to just be able to feel what I see everybody else feel. I really want to just feel his presence. I really want to be, want to be able to come into the house that you call of God. I want to be able to come into the house of God. And I want the anointing, the power of God to fall on me so heavy to anything that I'm in or involved in. If he is not pleased. I want him to work it out of me, not you. If I'm in a marriage, can, can I go here real quick? If I'm in a marriage that God is not ordained and God is not being pleased with, I'm not happy and they not happy either. God, have your way. If this marriage is wrong, I just want to be pleasing to you. Hello, Father. Hold on. Can, can we can we go in for a second? Can we go, can we can we keep it one thousand for a second, Father? And I ain't talking about me. I'm I'm, I'm giving some of y'all testimony, Father. I'm out here hoeing to make money, Father. I am out here. I'm an escort, and I'm out here. This is how I make my money. This is how I live. Some of y'all testimony. This is how I make my money, God. I want to be saved for real. I want, I want salvation for real. But Father, this is how I make my money. And I need, I want to be saved, but I need to be able to make a living for myself. See, some of y'all got to be honest with God like that. Okay, okay, okay. Some of y'all are out here sleeping with married people for various reasons. Various reasons. I ain't the judge or the jury. You're going to at some point, because that's a wicked ways. You're infringing upon someone else's home. And you're going to have to at some point say, God, it's me. It's me. It's, it's, it's me. It's, it's me. And I'm so far in the wrong. And I just want to be saved for real. I just want you. I want you to when you see me smile. Hello. When you see me, I want you to smile. I don't want you to be like. Oh, you again. Honey, there's some there's some gays that go for male and female. There's some gays out here, baby. Y'all in, in everything. That just is everything I hear, baby, every party. And some of y'all say for real, some of y'all just like gay, but y'all just don't involve yourself in the foolishness. You're going to have to come to God one day and just say, Lord, 
I'm not sure because I've been raised to think this is right and that's wrong and da 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 da. And I've read some other stuff in your book that just looks contrary to what everybody else has said. But can you use me? Can you do something with me? All oh, this thing about to bless me. Can you do something with me? This is the new normal. Everybody's coming to church. And they want to feel God for real. They want to feel God for real. And you can't stop them. Well, the Bible say, baby, and the Bible say something about you too. Hello. The Bible say something about each and every last one of us. The gay, straight, blind, crippled, and crazy. But the Bible says, and the Bible said, he said, come unto me. All ye that are labor and are of heavy laden and I tap your screen right there, tap your screen and I will give you rest. That's what it's saying. It said, all y'all, all y'all, all y'all come unto me. Come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that are heavy laden. And I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Cast your cares upon me for I care. Hey, bless his name. For I careth. I care for you. God has no big eyes, no little use. This is. More kisses. Y'all did not blow kisses right. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, let him go. I'll <laughs> share the squash the video. Let Well, I guess my phone wanted to die, so I just want to just say this to you all, and I am done. Uh, this is our new normal, okay? This is our new normal. And if you think that you truly are serving God, if you think that you're truly serving God, this is the opportunity to evaluate yourself. God has allowed you, the Spirit has allowed you to sit back for two, three, four months and self-evaluate yourself. And if you don't get it this time, I don't know what to tell you. If you don't understand because y'all, y'all, you're smart when it comes to the streets, but you dumb when it comes to the church world. You dumb when it comes down to the Lord and everything. You you real ignorant. Mm -hmm. You real ignorant. You just want to, you think you're going to holla la 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 sanda la 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 kanda. And he just going to hand you everything. You No, you, you think you ain't got to work? You think you ain't got to do something? Oh, no, baby. No, 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 no. You think you're going, you going, oh, this is what I need to do. No, there's trial and error before you get to the finish line and he hands you the keys to the kingdom. You think that you're going to finally light go off and you get it and he just going to hand. No, I want to see what you're going to do. I want to see if you're going to do right by me. You're going to do right by me. I want to see. When I started learning about all the books and what pleases God and things of that nature, when I started learning all of those things, God spoke to me. Hey, Uncle Edward, God spoke to me and he said, it's good that you're learning these things, but I'm going to make sure you stay right here. I'm going to make sure you stay right here because so many come this way and they want to learn the authenticity of God. And once they learn it and they get the blessings, 
They leave. No, 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 no. Try me now and see, see if I'll be completely yours. He tries you. He does. Just to make sure the vow that you made, you don't break it. And this has been a couple years. God has been trying me and seeing. Y'all, some of y'all been on here when I started doing Bible War and started bringing y'all all these books and everything. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. It's been a real journey. It's been a real journey. But the captivating part about it is when you come into the knowledge of the Lord, when you come into the knowledge of him and you really, for real, for real, experience his presence, in the words of Shirley Caesar, I'll, once you get an encounter with him, you'll never be the same. Okay, I got a question. Am I the only one who can't breathe in this mask? Uh, am I the only person? Oh, that's nice. They can't breathe. I'm talking about like, this is not cute. <laughs> This is not this is not how he's supposed to be breathing with this mask. I mean, do we need some ventilation or something? This thing got double padding and carrying on. Like, I bet not get no coronas. You hear me? This is some foolishness. Hey, what's up everybody? Hope all is well with you. Listen, make sure you hit that notification thing down there. And also hit that bell, okay? Hit that bell so that you're never left out, you're never confused, you're never wondering as to what I posted, was I on, or are you guys lost, or, hmm. Yeah, what is King really doing, okay? Just make sure I hit that notification. And make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Talk to you later.